It's been a long while since I've done an After Effects tutorial, but I thought a fun one would be recreating the Star Wars hyperspace effect using particles. I recently had to do this to create the introduction to my other channel, Star Wars Minute, and I thought it was fun, so here we go. Okay, so with an After Effects, go to Layer, New, Solid, and we just need a regular old black solid. Now we're going to go to Effect, Trap Code, Particular. So whenever you're using uh, Particular, it starts out with 100 particles per second. Uh, so on the first frame of the layer, they start emitting. Uh, what we need is for them to be about here, where all the particles are emitting and starting to die. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go here and trim this layer, and I'm going to click the stopwatch to set a keyframe for 100, and I'm going to go to 4 seconds here and make that 0. Then I'm going to go move this layer to the beginning of the composition and lengthen it all the way down. So basically it starts already emitting and they die out, which isn't what we want, but we're going to get there. So first thing, why don't we go to particle here and we'll just extend the life a lot. So basically every particle is going to be alive the entire composition. Next, we don't want our particles starting from a point like they are now. We want them more of in a box. So emitter type, click that drop down and click box. And I'm just going to set the emitter size to be the same size as the composition. And you can increase the Z space if you want as well. So now we have a basic star field, but the particles are still moving around. We don't want that. So we're just going to go to velocity, hit zero, and now we just have particles. And some are still emitting here. So now what I'm going to do is trim it again, move it to the beginning. OK, so now we just have a star field. Oh, they're starting to die down at the end. So I'm just going to keep increasing the life. We basically don't want any stars disappearing on us throughout this whole thing. And that looks good. OK, so now we have our star field. Next, we want the stars to look like they're zooming past the screen. So we're going to go down here to Physics, drop that down. We're going to use Air. So click the Air drop down. And I'm going to give it about a second before anything starts happening. and. Wind Z, I'll set a keyframe for that, and I'll go to two seconds, and I'm just going to start dragging the particles until they're off the screen. So now we have a star field that flies by us. Okay, that's cool, but the way hyperspace looks in Star Wars, they kind of turn into streaks, so we want to recreate that. So the way we do that is we use the auxiliary system. So click that drop down where it says emit, hit continuously. Now what the auxiliary system does is it treats every individual particle as its own emitter. So you have the original emitter emitting all these particles and then each particle is going to be emitting their own particles. So you can't really see a difference when nothing is happening when they're not moving. But if we go here and we start to see that as each particle moves, it kind of leaves behind a trail of particles. So that's basically what we're looking for. So we're going to go here and where it says particles per second, start dragging that up until we don't see individual particles, but we see a line. Now that's looking pretty cool, but we don't want the rainbow color. We just want it to be white. So go to Color Over Life, drop that down. Uh, you can click any of the black and white ones, and then you just take this black one and drag it out of there. So now they're white the entire time. Now, as the particles move, 
they start to form these kind of streaks and it looks like we're really zooming by them. That's it! If you're a fan of this tutorial or a fan of Star Wars at all, please check out my other channel, Star Wars Minute. Maybe check out this video where I talk about the history and technology of the hyperdrive. The basic idea of the channel is that I spend about a minute talking about one topic within Star Wars, so people can learn anything they want without having to read every book or play every game. Because, let's face it, there's a lot out there. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you for watching.